Thank you for understanding. It yes. keeps us all on our toes. And usually I put it in um, that I'm controlling it, and I got so engrossed in what you were saying that I didn't. So, okay. That's cute. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. This is, oh, you, I, I love you. <laughs> You're yeah, wonderful. thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. So at level three, uh, and that's one of the, you know, I, I was at that level for a long time between two and three. And it's really about self-love. It's really about self-love. It's really about going back and, you know, looking at the places where we've held stories and turned against ourselves and, you know, there's there's so many layers in there. And then level four is you're you're in complete alignment and vibration with your divine self, with your with your body. You know, people struggle sometimes to understand that we really truly are just a vibration. You know, we look like these physical bodies, but you know, you can go back and boil it down to, uh, you know, when the doctor wants to know how your heart is working, they do an EKG electrocardiogram and they're measuring the waves of electricity that are being conducted by your heart but they don't have to go inside it's not invasive right they put a little electrodes on your outside of your skin Mm -hmm. which means that you know the outside it, it just conducts electricity conducts energy and if they find something out of balance, what do they do? They give you a, a pharmaceutical that is a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker. And, mm-hmm. you know, back from our ninth grade science, we know that periodic chart, everything has positive and negative charges. Right. You know, so that calcium is changing the charge. But it knows how to be healthy, so why is it having that charge to begin with? That's what we look at. Is there grief? Mm -hmm. You know, so we look at the metaphysical, the spiritual aspects of what's going on, what we need to heal. And then that puts us in the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. Puts us in the driver's seat instead of always, you know. So it's a fine line and, and people need help. People need, you know, for whatever reason, I learned this stuff. For whatever reason, this is my path been my journey and so when I when I got diagnosed with this rare cancer I reversed it within two months wow because I because I had gone through all of this stuff and I knew what to do what did you do um I did a lot of meditation very specific meditation um I have two cds out one is called one heart healing and the love meditation which um I channeled uh, many, many years ago, and that's what I used to reverse fibromyalgia, uh, helps bring light, healing light and love down into the center. You know, we think our brain is in charge, and if we could just get the brain out of the equation, and so this takes us down into our heart, into our feeling body. We're, we're a culture and a society that has, we're afraid to feel. We all want love, but we're afraid to feel. Afraid to be, people don't, you know, everything's taking us out of our physical bodies Mm -hmm. with ADD and social media and just, you know, and it's the, it's the gerbil on the, on the wheel, on the treadmill, you know, up in our brain. So it's teaching how to get down into that physical body. So I spent a lot of time and I'm, I'm very, very passionate about mantras. Uh, That's part of what Mm. I teach. Uh, It, it goes with one of the five C's that I'm teaching and, and talking about right now and in the teleseminar tomorrow is um, that consciousness and vibration. Mm-hmm. So I've just been at this long enough that I understand that cancer is a vibration. The cells know how to be healthy. So I needed to look at where was I stagnant and blocked and cutting myself off so that my cells, the energy wasn't getting to my cells. And they were, uh, you know, sort of regurgitating in a way that was not positive. You know, replicating in a negative way. Because I've blocked off that energy flow. So you blocked off that energy flow and you went inside yourself to find the blocks. 
Can can you share with us what the blocks were? Well, I knew I knew here's where the you know here's where the block was and here's where the information is and and what I did was mantras. Mantras are are um, you know they are so powerful and so successful at changing so much uh, from from karma. You know, real true could be this lifetime, another lifetime, things that our soul is working on. Um, and it, it, it's like a shortcut gets us out of our head and it moves the energy and it moves the consciousness. So, um, the, a little bit of, you know, backstory is, um, I was aware, um, I had a lot of anger towards, towards, you know, a family member that had been, this has been going on for years, you know, uh, and it was never a great relationship. Uh, and, it went from okay to strained, okay to strained. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm I'm tired to the point where I could actually just have this real anger and resentment and I could identify it, you know, and it, it was very active. And so I sent out an intention and a prayer request um, that I wanted to resolve this. I wanted to resolve this anger and judgment and resentment and this person is getting older and I thought to myself, you know, I'm not going to be the one when they die, I'm going to be left holding the bag, you know, mm-hmm. with all this anger. I want to resolve this for both of us. Um, and so I sent that out and interestingly enough, I had, I had had this little spot on the top of my head um, for oh, a good four to six months and it, it didn't hurt. It was nothing. I honestly thought it was like, oh, I've been using too much product on my hair or something, you know, like it was just a little plugged follicle and it just stayed the same. And when I went to the dermatologist, um, I thought it was a cyst and, you know, let's just get this off and you'll be done. Well, they did a biopsy and da, da, da. it didn't look right when they, you know, went to cut it out and, It turned out and several weeks went by and the day after I sent out that healing prayer, I got a phone call from them and it had been way past due. And they said, we're referring you to, um, there's a local cancer center here, we're referring you to Roswell. And I was like, really? No kidding. (laughs) And they had been like, oh, it's nothing, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I was kind of surprised, but I hung up the phone and as I said, I sat, I went and made a cup of tea and I got this message, blood. And what they told me I had was, called, it's called EHE. It's a very like one in one million people get this type of cancer and there's no treatment. It's so rare. There's no protocol. There's no treatment. There's no nothing. And it can either act benign or it can go crazy and kill you and they have no idea what it's going to do. So I got that message about where did I cut myself off in the river of life. Blood is what feeds us. You know, it carries the nutrients. So where was I not nourishing and nurturing myself? And I knew it had to do with this anger and this resentment and this relationship. So I focused on healing that and having some healing conversations around that. And they scheduled me for surgery. And it was about two months from the day that they called me with a diagnosis. Well, it was October, end of October. And the surgery was scheduled for early December. And so I did the meditations. I did my own healing work. I did my own energy healing. But I did the mantras and I did a lot of deep meditation and got a lot of messages and just focused on releasing these things from my body, from these emotions and these angers and healing that relationship. And I did actually go in for the surgery and um, it was only supposed to take about an hour. And I was in there for three and a half hours because they couldn't find the cancer. It was already gone. Oh my God! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm. And I actually had a message that day of that that one of my guides said you don't have to go, but I was like already in this mode, you know, of thinking I was going to go and get it cut out. Plus, you were a nurse, so that would in your I'm sure in the back of your mind it would justify that because you were in medicine. 
right? Yes and no. Yes and no. There was a part of me that was not mm-hmm. going to do anything. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I was completely at that place of trust yet. Mm-hmm. So now I know without a doubt. And I know that if I can do it, anyone can do it. It's wow, that, that willingness. Because amazing. that's why so many people, you know, that's why we have recurrences of all all sorts of things. Right. It's because they cut it out or they give it a, you know, a pill or something. But the energy and the consciousness and vibration that created it has not been healed. Right. Right. And and all a pill does is mask the symptoms. All surgery does is get rid of the current whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's why, you know, again, this is this is the model for moving towards it. This is the model for moving towards it. Instead wow. of pushing it away, getting to the understanding of, I've created this somehow, some way. Mm-hmm. Wow, that that's some heavy stuff. And I, I couldn't agree with you more. And, you know, there's... I, I know that so many people, we want to believe in somebody. We do as, you know, we want to believe in a doctor and that they can help us. But, you know, they're only human and they've only studied so much and they only study what is already written. You know, it's, I don't know. Well, it's it's not a system of healing. It's a system it's a, of medicine. You know, right. It's a, it's a, That's a it's really a, beautiful way of putting it. Not a system of healing. Yeah. I love you know, we that. Don't, we don't go to the doctor until, it, you know, there's something wrong. Mm-hmm. It's a system. But if we take responsibility medicine. before that. Right. I know, love so it's it. It's about developing a spiritual practice. I always say we become what we practice. Hmm. Yeah. We become what we practice. That's a good that's a good way to look at it. That's so very true. Wow. I hope that you're gonna stay with us. We're gonna take a little break and come back. I think we all need to get a wet our whistle after that one. That was <laughs> that was intense. And thank you so much for yeah. being with us. We're visiting with Martha G. Blessing. She's an author of God is a Pink Cloud and the founder of Soul Light Academy. Please stay with us. This is some fascinating stuff. We're going to take a little break. We're learning a lot tonight here on the Devolution Show. I hope that you'll stay with us. She, Martha G. Blessing is a wonderful guest, so go do what you need to do and come right back. We'll wait here. Are you a Christian looking to align your faith and finances? Then you'll want to check out Thrivent Financial. We're not your typical financial services provider. We're a not-for-profit Fortune 500 organization that helps our nearly 2.4 million members to be wise with money. We provide guidance that reflects your values so you can protect what matters most. We help members live generously and strengthen the communities where they live, work, and worship. Learn more about the Thrivent story by contacting me, Andrea Jean, at 989 686-9620. Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Great Lakes Bay region is calling on you to sign up to volunteer today so that you can change the life of a child for better forever. We um, have one-to-one mentoring programs where you can sign up and spend time with the child two to three times a month. You can go to the park. You can help them with their homework. Sometimes you can just have dinner and talk. These small little things that you can do each month cost nothing, and it only takes a little bit of your time so that you can change the life of a child. If you would like more information about how you can get involved with a child in Bay County, give us a call at 989-391-5103. Or learn more information about us online at bbbsgreatlakesbay.org. We look forward to working with you so that together we can change the lives of the children in Bay County for the better forever. 
Growers Choice Insurance. They're located at 2880 East Beaver Road, Cacollin, Michigan. Toll free 800 768 9377. Some of the insurance products that they offer.